Hi friends, how are you? So today I'm going to be sharing uh, all the new releases in the makeup world. So I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on them and I'm going to tell you if I'm going to be purchasing them or not. If you're new here, my name is Angie. I invite you to click that red subscribe button for my beauty videos and without further ado, let's start. Alrighty friends, I'm switching over to this side because I'm going to be posting all my pictures up here so you can see what I'm talking about. But the first product that we're going to be talking about is the new uh, Norvina um, Little Palette. So these guys are um, the nine uh, pan uh, little guys from uh, Norvina and Anastasia and they retail for $29 and this one is the volume 3 Me Pro Pigment Palette. Uh, they're saying that there are 9 full size sherry shades from red wine mattes to sparkling berry metallics. So this guy is going to be available on January 27th on Anastasia's website and then it's going to be available at stores on January 31st. So um I'm going to be passing on this guy uh, whenever Anastasia decided to release all these Norvina palettes. I did purchase the bigger guy, the purple one, um, and then they just decided to come out with so much and it just overwhelmed us all, I think, I feel like. Um, so I just stopped, um, you know, I just stopped looking at all those palettes. I don't know, I just got overwhelmed and I didn't whatever I didn't want to buy them um, and then they come up with two little ones um, right after the looking like this one the mini ones and then again they were just like lost in all the other releases that they did so I don't think that a lot of people really paid attention to those and I don't see myself using these colors um, they have like a, a pretty sparkling pink and um, you know like a really nice blue but these are in colors that I will use I don't think I am more of a neutral kind of girl um, and yeah Anastasia and Norvina they're just like overwhelming to me and I'm really not interested um, so I'm gonna be saying uh, next. The next product that I'm gonna be talking about it is super exciting and it is a new release from Natasha Denona so uh, for Valentine's Day it's just coming out with a whole lot of products and we're gonna be touching a little bit of those in this video so the first one that I'm super excited is her new eyeshadow palette so it is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette that is um, it's gonna be a sister to this one so it is like their um, her mini size uh, $65 uh, palette. So this palette is called uh, the Love Palette and it's full of really pretty shades. They have uh, cranberry shades, reds, purples, pinks. Um, I don't know, these seem really appealing. It has a really nice rose gold shade and a really nice pink that I've been looking for a light pink. I don't know why in an eyeshadow for a long time and I just haven't found it. I just have this vision in my head of a really, um, you know, romantic pink <laughs> makeup look and I haven't found that pink and I think this is it. Um, so I am really intrigued. I was waiting for her to come out with another guy like that because I think it's a great deal uh, whenever she comes out with those 15 um, eyeshadow palette. I'm waiting for her to do the Biba in that kind of size. I'll be so excited and I'll be first in line. Nonetheless, this one looks super pretty. I think I'm going to be purchasing. The package is uh, pink and romantic and cute and it has a really nice purple. It has some really cool tone, um, uh, um, platinum looking and like black kind of looking. Not really black. I think it's like a um, a deep um, a grape kind of shade uh, but anyway all this shade looks really appealing to me and I think I'm gonna be purchasing let me know in the comments below do you think uh, do you want to see a review on it what do you think of this palette like what do you think let me know because I am super excited then she's also coming out with uh, one of the little cheeky palettes so this one is $55 and is a cheek palette inspired uh, by Natasha Denona's Diamond and blush uh, palette so it, this includes a glow cream base which is a red coral a super glow which is a shimmery gold rose pigment and then a diamond powder 
um, and then a glow impact powder so these four shades look really shimmery I'm gonna show you a picture I mean the palette is stunning it has sparkles and they move I don't know the packaging is stunning I would love um, to have it but I don't really see myself um, using blushes like this they look just too intense too shimmery I really like a gold stuff and this is super pink so if you're a little bit fair skin I think it may complement you a little bit better um, but I don't know I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be getting this guy it looks super pretty but again I'm not sure I'll think about it what do you guys think should I I'm not sure and then it's also coming out with uh, lip glosses so these ones are called the new Liphoria a gloss and a balm create the perfect glossy pot with a super juicy shine extra pampering lip balm to soothe refresh and reawake sharp and dry lips so they're supposed to be um, so she has like three tones one is like there's like two nudes and one is a little bit like a corally shade I'm not sure if these are lip balms. I'm a little bit confused. If they are, I may give one a try because I do like lip, lip balms like that in a you know if a, in a gloss format. I do like that, but I'm not sure if this is something that I'm gonna be using in the daily because I don't really like um, lip glosses to be that, to be honest. I like my mattes and that's all um, that I'm using every single day. So I'm not sure about these guys. Um, I may pass on them, but they look super pretty. If you're into these, um, you know, glossy lip balms, then you're really gonna like these guys. The next release is the new Kylie Cosmetics. Um, she's coming out again for Valentine's with a full collection inspired um, in Stormy, her daughter. The eyeshadow palette looks super cute. It reminds me of the Natasha Denona. So I think these are the colors that are coming. This is what we're gonna be seeing. Uh, so you get like a burgundy color. You have the pinks, you know, like the soft colors. You do get a corally shade. So it's super similar to the Natasha Denona um, so of course if I get that I'm not gonna be getting this guy and plus I find Kylie to be a little bit inconsistent in her formula that's just my opinion I'm not sure what is going on but I haven't had the best luck uh, when it comes to to her shadows I like her um, uh, blushes a little bit better and the bronzer that I have from her too I don't really like her highlight but that's beside the point this collection looks super pretty but I don't think that's something that I'm gonna be purchasing I'm gonna pass on these guys uh, it looks super pretty though it has like glosses and um, like a lip kit so you get like a lip liner and a you know a matte um, pro lip product but anyway yeah this is something that I'm gonna be passing on what do you guys think it's super cute I love the presentation of it the aesthetics of it is so so cute the next uh, release that is already available is by KKW so it's coming with a new Celestial Celestial Sky collection and she's coming now with like three of blushes uh, lip crayons and then a five pen shadow um, with three different shades I actually have these on my card but I am so conflicted I don't know which of the eyeshadows will suit me the most I am so conflicted um, my neutral self tells me to go with the one that has the gold in it but then I'm like thinking okay you have so many gold shadows like we're gonna do with it just pick something different but then at the same time I don't know if I'm I'm not gonna use it then I've never tried her shadows and that's why I really wanted to try something from her line and let me know if you're interested to see uh, anything from you know everything that I'm talking about in the comments below so that I know if I should purchase it or not this one is like a maybe for me I am really not sure I'll be honest I am really not sure I've never tried her formula so it's something that is gonna be you know like tricky to me I don't wanna like buy it because it's not 
that super cheap is a little bit you know high in the price and not only that I'm from Canada so I'm gonna have to pay uh, taxes I already and shipping so I already did my mat and it's gonna come up a little bit pricey for me so that's why I'm not sure if I should purchase it but it looks super nice it looks super travel friendly and I, I I'm interested like it's calling my name the next release is this one by Dominic Cosmetics and it's her new Latte palette. Oh my god, whenever I saw that trend, Moon, um, she has a box. I'm gonna leave her Instagram below. This is where I'm getting all the new releases information. So she has a monthly subscription box, but it's only for US, so she doesn't ship internationally. And I was so upset about it when I found out. Uh, so she introduced her second box a few days ago and this palette was in it and also the for sally powder um primer kind of situation oh my god i would love this box because it's a great deal and this latte palette was in it as i said and i was super interested and i'm so bummed that i can have it because i don't know if i'm gonna be purchasing this palette it looks pretty. I liked her first um, eyeshadow palette. I think that her formula is really nice. I have one of her boxy charms on uh, collab, the mini palette, and I did few looks using that palette, and it is super super nice formula. So I'm pretty sure her formula is a little bit underrated, and I'm sure that this is gonna be good. But I don't know. Looking at the colors, she has like three shimmery shades, and then the other ones are matte, and you do get a yellow and a turquoise and like a peachy kind of color I don't know I'm not really sure I don't think I'm gonna be picking this up but it looks super pretty um, we'll see if I go into the store and those shimmering shades are like as stunning as they look like I may pick it up just because of them uh, but the browns don't call my name that much and the yellow is just a little bit off putting so not sure uh, what I'm gonna do with this one but yeah this is a great release from Dominic Cosmetics. Our next makeup release is gonna be from Fenty Beauty so she's coming out with a few things and the first thing that we're gonna be talking about is her setting spray so she's coming out with a refreshing spray and just saying that it's a hydrating mist that can be used under or over foundation uh, to set and refresh skin throughout the day. So that looks really nice. Um, it's you know slick and nice. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be scented just like her primers. That's what I'm picturing, and I really like that scent. So I'm not bothered by it. I'm just wondering about like you know like the mister is gonna be a nice one. It's gonna be an aggressive one. That's something that I'm always in the look for. Um, I love my glow recipe. You know, um, mister. and it is something that I will always repurchase just because of the ultra fine mist. And so if this one, if I go to store and it has a really nice mist then I may give this one a go I am really interested and they're also bringing back a few of the shades that we saw in her holiday uh, set so I do have these guys in the mini one so I'm not gonna purchase this one but they're bringing back hot chocolate which is a rich brown it's a really nice shade and then um, I think the clear one is the clear or no, sorry, the other one, the uh, wheat mount. Anyway, they're going to make them um, full size and they're going to be uh, on her line now on. But yeah, this is something that I'm going to be picking up because I already have me. And then she's going to come out with a set of her Mama Self Trifetta Plus Matte Lipstick Set. Um, it's going to retail for $39 and it's a limited edition trio of full size products that's a really good deal for 39 because I'm pretty sure they retail for 20 something each uh, so she has a dusty rose cold paint a royal red called uh, madam and then an electric pink candy bemoon um, I am not sure I think I'm gonna also gonna skip on this one uh, the only thing that really interests me in these um, you know uh, releases is the setting spray to be quite honest 
um, those bright colors I don't think I'll be using and plus I don't really like the bullet form of that lipstick I do own one of them and I find it a little bit weird to apply so I don't appreciate that about these uh, lipsticks I don't know if that's just me and I'm weird I don't know I just don't find it pointy enough that I have to always use a lip liner and it's just like oh, it's so much work but yeah I'm gonna be skipping on those the next release we're gonna be talking about is one by NARS and they're coming with a nice shadow palette another face palette and then a few lip glosses so uh, they're saying the eyeshadow is gonna be $59 they're already available uh, and it is called the cool really crush nice collection. and interesting palette it look a little bit um, it looks warm it looks super yummy I think I am really I'm really interested in this palette but I don't know I find that NARS is super underrated when it comes to eyeshadows I don't really own any of them to be quite honest so I don't really know what to think of it I really like the palette the format it looks the aesthetics of it looks super cool and pretty um, so this is calling my name but it is something that we want to you know just go into store and actually swatch just to see if the pigmentation of them is good because I'm not really familiar with the formula um, and then the face palette looks so pretty and I am really really wanting to try that one so I may give that one a go and then the lip glosses um, I think are they lip gloss they're loaded lip lockers they retail for $26 and it says that offers a shine of a gloss the comfort of a balm and the impact of a lipstick okay so it's one of those really pigmented lipsticks um, sorry lip glosses and I'm not really into them I find them a little bit messy and like I, I usually go out of the line uh, um, to yeah no I'm not gonna I'm not gonna purchase those but the palette and the eyeshadow palette are really interesting and they're calling my day 100% another release by Anastasia but this one is been out for a hot minute is the Amrisi collab um, this palette look really pretty but it looks just too repetitive for me I have most of her palettes and it looks too modern renaissance uh, in my opinion um, the top row is sent but the bottom is just too repetitive like why why do you have to put those shades again there like if they switch the colors a little bit I would have purchased them in a heartbeat but no I'm just gonna skip on this I went into a store I swatched it it's really pretty I know that the like her formula is stunning but um, I don't want to have repeats there's so many repeats at the bottom they look so similar to the modern renaissance palette um, that I wouldn't you know I wouldn't use that one like if I have this one if you don't have the modern renaissance then you may want to give this guy a go because the shades are super pretty I'm not saying it's about palette or anything like that I'm saying I already have that one and I find it too repetitive um, I hate that it is too repetitive because I would love to purchase just because of the shimmers in this palette but again um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna <laughs> Another release by Tati Beauty is her new um, product. She was hyping it up for a little bit. I thought it was going to be a palette. I was so excited. I know she's working on one. She said that before, but actually she came out with the Blendy Full. So it is a sponge applicator that she's known for using for the longest time uh, when doing makeup. I remember her always teaching about it and how you press and blah 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 like she's so entertaining i've watched her for a long long time now and yeah so she's come out with the blendiful uh it includes two um sort of like a puff a powder puff looking product and i actually already purchased this so i'm gonna be doing a review i haven't gotten it yet uh but i'm gonna do a first impression and review for sure whenever i got it but yeah this is a hot release a lot of people are loving it i am so intrigued to do everything with with one single product you know if I can you know just that use that then and not dirty brushes like everywhere and then just go on vacation with that one then sign me up so I am so excited to get that guy and I'm waiting on the mail they already shipped it so yay Alright friends, and then last but not least, we have Makeup Geek. She did a full revamp of her brand and she came out with like really pretty palettes. One is like a huge palette and I generally have 
two of the huge palettes and they retail for like 200 and some and then she has like three O's, she has a um, nine shadow palette she has a whole bunch of things they look super pretty I may look into one of the little guys just to see how I like her new formula I've never tried personally her formula but I've known um, makeup gigs and a lot of you do a lot um, her formula for a long time whenever it first launched uh, but anyway I'm not gonna be picking up the bigger guys for sure but I may give the little ones a go just to see how you know what I like how her formula is what the deal is uh, but I'm not 100% sure if they charge me a lot of taxes again because I'm from Canada and then I'm gonna be pausing on uh, but yeah we'll see already my friends that's it for today these were all the makeup releases these this is all this happening in the makeup world in the end of January, beginning of February. Leave me comments down below. Let me know which of these products are you excited the most. Which one are calling your name? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Which ones do you think I should purchase uh, to do reviews? What are you interested in so that I can purchase it? And then give you my thoughts. If you're a new friend here, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down there. It helps me a ton. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys.